So we have heard a Christian speak and you have also heard an industrial uh, person speak. So I have nothing extra to speak or talk about what they have spoken so far. Uh, I, I don't know how you enjoyed uh, the speech, but I definitely enjoyed the speech both from Mr. Brahman and, and from uh, Dr. Anandan. So I would like to add only a couple of points. Basically, you know, uh, to reinforce what uh, these two experts were sharing with us. So lately I was speaking to uh, a school student who is uh, a 12 standard student. Okay. Uh, he's, he uh, incidentally happened to be, to be my junior. Basically we have an alumnus club. Okay. So I was talking to one of the uh, current uh, 12 standard students. I asked him what he, want, what he wants to do. He said uh, he wants to take up mechanical engineering. Fine. Okay. What after mechanical engineering? What do you want to do? He says I want to take up a computer job. Can you imagine? Like he wants to take up mechanical engineering course, and then he wants to move on to computing. Why the heck? Yeah. I asked him like, what is the motivation? Like, why do you want to take up mechanical engineering and then move on to computing? You can probably take something else which is meaningful, right? So the problem is awareness. So he said, uh, I did not decide mechanical engineering course, my father decided it. So uh, he is not really caring about uh, what uh, destiny he is uh, heading on to. He basically put the burden on his parents. That is fine for a school student, but the same thing is happening to uh, uh, college kids like you as well. You know, you have having chosen computing or having chosen uh, uh, computer science engineering as your course, I'm sure uh, I am not very sure all of you have your vision and mission in place. I mean, so most of you will be second and third years here. I, I think this is high time you have to set your vision and mission. I mean, you have to say or you have to set, you know, I want to achieve this. And to achieve this, this is the path I have to choose. Uh, and that you will have to decide now. Uh, fourth years, it is already time out. For uh, you people, second and third years, this is the time you have to set your goals. Uh, the vision and mission statement. Um, so, as uh, Mr. Prabhakaran was, uh, was pointing out, you know, the job opportunities outside is like surplus. Uh, and as he was telling, you know, there is a handful of jobs and there is a handful of candidates, but the problem is matching the right candidate for the right job. Uh, I am in the matching industry, so I, I develop technology for matching candidates to jobs. And I am seeing that the problem, the practical problem of matching the right candidate to the right job. So, the problem here is, you know, you have too many, uh, too many candidates, I mean, too many candidates and you have um, a whole bunch of jobs which are available and all these companies spend a whole lot of money in hunting for the right candidate and he was pointing out right like he was able to the, the, the company that he was referring to was able to get only 50 candidates which matched their requirements so the problem is you know the companies spend a lot of money they invest a lot of money a lot of time uh, in finding the right candidate and they are not able to get it and this recession or whatever that we are going through <coughs> This recession is primarily for the candidates who got the jobs by default. Okay, so they were they were a time where uh, all Tom, Dick, and Harry were getting jobs. I mean, they know nothing about computers, but they were getting jobs. But those are the people you know who are kicked out right now, and uh, they are literally kicked out. Okay, uh, you know the, the problem uh, now is you know the companies are trying to reduce their cost. They're the, they're try, they're the companies are trying to optimize on their investments and they are trying to ensure return on investments. So when they do that, the first thing that they'll start to prune is getting rid of the nonsense. Right? So being computer science grads, you have to decide whether you want to become a nonsense or whether you want to become the cream of the country. Right? So having having taken the opportunity of becoming proficient computer science engineers, I would uh, I would rather uh, uh, you know advise you or rather I would I would be helpful even to guide you to become very proficient and you should also have awareness of what you are doing and what extra value addition you provide that that is what you should always be counting on okay I am here I am trying to add value to the system what extra I am adding to the system you just keep asking you this question often during your education and also after your education. If you keep asking this question often, then you get the drive to upgrade yourself, as Professor was pointing out. So when you think you cannot generate value, you will have your force to upgrade yourself, right? So you upgrade yourself, it becomes automatic. I mean, so when you ask this basic question, you ask yourself, what is the value I'm generating? What is the value I am selling to my employer? Or what is the value I'm giving to the institute? You ask this question often, you become automatically more proficient and efficient. 
And um, with this key, with this um, point, you know, I would like to, I would like to also thank uh, uh, for setting up uh, this summit where uh, technology can be shared, uh, knowledge can be can be exchanged. And I would like to, uh, you know, come here for uh, uh, more frequently uh, for summits like this, where uh, I would like, I would probably like to share whatever I have learned, and you can also probably share whatever you have learned, and uh, both the parties get, uh, you know, benefited out of that. Uh, I would like to thank uh, everybody who's behind the scenes, uh, and I would, uh, um, I would say, you know, congratulations to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your practical and guiding speech and for advising the students to set up mission and vision. I request the following participants to be prepared for the UG paper presentation. After the break, 